Electrostatics is a branch of physics that studies electric charges at rest. Since classical physics, it has been known that some materials such as amber attract lightweight particles after rubbing. The Greek word for amber, electron or electron, was the source of the word electricity. Electrostatic phenomena arise from the forces that electric charges exert on each other. Such forces are described by Coulomb's law. Even though electrostatically induced forces seem to be rather weak, some electrostatic forces such as the one between an electron and a proton, that together make up a hydrogen atom, is about 36 orders of magnitude stronger than the gravitational force acting between them. There are many examples of electrostatic phenomena, from those as simple as the attraction of the plastic wrap to one's hand after it is removed from a package to the apparently spontaneous explosion of grain silos, the damage of electronic components during manufacturing, and photocopier and laser printer operation. Electrostatics involves the buildup of charge on the surface of objects due to contact with other surfaces. Although charge exchange happens whenever any two surfaces contact and separate, the effects of charge exchange are usually only noticed when at least one of the surfaces has a high resistance to electrical flow. This is because the charges that transfer are trapped there for a time long enough for their effects to be observed. These charges then remain on the object until they either bleed off to ground or are quickly neutralized by a discharge, e.g., the familiar phenomenon of a static shock is caused by the neutralization of charge built up in the body from contact with insulated surfaces. Topic: Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law states that the magnitude of the electrostatic force of attraction or repulsion between two point charges is directly proportional to the product of the magnitudes of charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. The force is along the straight line joining them. If the two charges have the same sign, the electrostatic force between them is repulsive, if they have different signs, the force between them is attractive. If R is the distance in meters between two charges then the force in newtons between two point charges q display style q and q display style q in coulombs is f equals 1 4 Pi Epsilon zero Q Q R two equals K zero Q Q R two Display style f equals frac 1 4 pi var epsilon underscore 0 frac q q r caret 2 equals k underscore 0 frac q q r caret 2, where epsilon 0 is the vacuum permittivity or permittivity of free space. Epsilon 0 approximately equals 10 minus 9 36 pi c 2 n 
minus 1 m minus 2 approximately equals 8 854 187 817 times 10 minus 12 c 2 n minus 1 m minus 2 Display style var epsilon underscore zero approximately ten carat minus nine over thirty six pi mathem c carat two n carat minus one m carat minus two approximately eight point eight five four one hundred eighty seven eight hundred seventeen times ten carat minus twelve mathem c carat two n carat minus one m carat Minus two. The SI units of epsilon zero are equivalently a two s four kilogram minus one meter minus three or c two n minus one meter minus two or f m minus one. Coulomb's constant as k zero approximately equals one. 4 pi epsilon 0 approximately equals 8.987 551 787 times 10 9 n m Two C minus two Display style K underscore zero approximately FRAC one four pi var epsilon underscore zero approximately eight point nine eight seven five hundred fifty one seven hundred eighty seven times ten carat nine mathem N M carat two C carat minus two the use of epsilon zero instead of k zero in expressing Coulomb's law is related to the fact that the force is inversely proportional to the surface area of a sphere with radius equal to the separation between the two charges. A single proton has a charge of E, and the electron has a charge of minus E, where E approximately equals 1 602 176 565 times 10 minus 19 c Display style e approximately 1.602 176 565 times 10 carat minus 19 mathrm c. These physical constants epsilon zero k zero e are currently defined so that epsilon zero and k zero are exactly defined, and e is a measured quantity. topic electric field the electric field e display style vec e in units of newtons per coulomb or volts per meter is a vector field that can be defined everywhere except at the location of point charges where it diverges to infinity it is defined as the electrostatic force F display style vec F 
in newtons on a hypothetical small test charge at the point due to Coulomb's law, divided by the magnitude of the charge Q Q in Coulombs E equals F Q Display style VEC E equals VEC F over Q. Electric field lines are useful for visualizing the electric field. Field lines begin on positive charge and terminate on negative charge. They are parallel to the direction of the electric field at each point, and the density of these field lines is a measure of the magnitude of the electric field at any given point. Consider a collection of n particles of charge q i Display style q underscore i located at points r i display style vec r underscore i called source points. The electric field at r display style vec r called the field point is e R equals one four pi epsilon zero I equals one N R carrot I Q I R I two Display style VEC E VEC R equals FRAC one four Pi var epsilon underscore zero sum underscore I equals one carrot N FRAC wide hat math call R underscore I Q underscore I left math call VEC R underscore I right carrot two where R I equals R minus R I display style VEC math call R underscore I equals VEC R VEC R underscore I is the displacement vector from a source point R I display style vec r underscore i to the field point R display style vec r and R caret i equals R i R I display style wide hat math call R underscore I equals VEC math call R underscore I left VEC math call R underscore I right is a unit vector that indicates the direction of the field. For a single point charge at the origin, the magnitude of this electric field is E equals K E Q R two Display style E equals K underscore E Q math call R carrot two and points away from that charge as positive. The fact that the force and hence the field can be calculated by summing over all the contributions due to individual source particles is an example of the superposition principle. 
The electric field produced by a distribution of charges is given by the volume charge density ρ R displaystyle ρ vec R and can be obtained by converting this sum into a triple integral E R equals 1 4 pi epsilon 0 r minus r r minus r 3 row r d 3 r Display style VEC E VEC R equals FRAC one four pi var epsilon underscore zero I I I N T FRAC VEC R VEC R left VEC R VEC R right carrot three row VEC R operator name D carrot three R Topic Gauss law. Gauss law states that the total electric flux through any closed surface in free space of any shape drawn in an electric field is proportional to the total electric charge enclosed by the surface. Mathematically, Gauss's law takes the form of an integral equation. S E D A equals one Epsilon zero Q E N C L O S E D equals V row Epsilon zero D three R Display style oint underscore S VEC E C D O T Mathem D VEC O equals F R A C one var epsilon underscore zero Q underscore enclosed equals int underscore V row over var epsilon underscore zero C D O T operator name D carrot three R where D three R equals D X D Y D Z Display style operator name D carrot three R equals Mathem D X Mathem D Y Mathem D Z is a volume element. If the charge is distributed over a surface or along a line, replace rho d three r displaystyle rho mathrm d caret three r by sigma d a Display style sigma mathrm d a or lambda d display style lambda mathrm d l. The divergence theorem allows Gauss's law to be written in differential form. E equals rho epsilon. Zero display style vec nabla c d o t vec e equals row over var epsilon underscore zero, 
where display style vec nabla cdot is the divergence operator topic poisson and laplace equations The definition of electrostatic potential, combined with the differential form of Gauss's law above, provides a relationship between the potential φ and the charge density ρ. 2 φ equals minus ρ epsilon 0 Display style nabla caret two phi equals rho over var epsilon underscore zero. This relationship is a form of Poisson's equation. In the absence of unpaired electric charge, the equation becomes Laplace's equation. Two phi equals zero. Display style nabla caret two phi equals zero. Topic: Electrostatic approximation. The validity of the electrostatic approximation rests on the assumption that the electric field is irrotational. Times e equals 0 display style vec nabla times vec e equals 0 from faraday's law this assumption implies the absence or near absence of time varying magnetic fields b t equals 0 Display style partial vec b over partial t equals zero. In other words, electrostatics does not require the absence of magnetic fields or electric currents. Rather, if magnetic fields or electric currents do exist, they must not change with time, or in the worst case, they must change with time only very slowly. In some problems, both electrostatics and magnetostatics may be required for accurate predictions, but the coupling between the two can still be ignored. Electrostatics and magnetostatics can both be seen as Galilean limits for electromagnetism. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Electrostatic potential Because the electric field is irrotational, it is possible to express the electric field as the gradient of a scalar function phi display style phi called the electrostatic potential also known as the voltage. An electric field E display style E points from regions of high electric potential to regions of low electric potential expressed mathematically as e equals minus phi display style vec e equals vec nabla phi the gradient theorem can be used to establish that the electrostatic potential is the amount of work per unit charge required to move a charge from point a to point b with the following line integral a B E D equals Phi B minus Phi 
a display style int underscore a caret b vec e c d o t mathrm d vec l equals phi vec b phi vec a from these equations, we see that the electric potential is constant in any region for which the electric field vanishes such as occurs inside a conducting object. Electrostatic <inaudible> <inaudible> energy <inaudible> 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 A single test particle's potential energy U E single display style U underscore mathrm E caret text single can be calculated from a line integral of the work Q N E D Display style Q underscore N VEC E C D O T Mathem D VEC L. We integrate from a point at infinity and assume a collection of N Display N particles of charge Q N Display style Q underscore N are already situated at the points R I display style VEC R underscore I. This potential energy in joules is U E single equals Q phi R equals q 4 pi epsilon 0 i equals 1 n q i r i Display style u underscore mathrm e caret text single equals q phi vec r equals frac q four pi var epsilon underscore zero sum underscore i equals one caret n frac q underscore i left math call vec r underscore i right where R I equals R minus R I display style VEC math call R underscore I equals VEC R VEC R underscore I is the distance of each charge Q I Display style Q underscore I from the test charge Q display style Q which situated at the point R display style VEC R and Phi R display style Phi VEC R is the electric potential that would be at R display style vec r if the test charge were not present if only two charges are present the potential energy is k e q 1 q 2 R display style k underscore e q underscore one q underscore two r. The total electric potential energy due a collection of n charges is calculating by assembling these particles one at a time. 
U E total equals one four Pi Epsilon zero J equals one N Q J I equals one J minus one Q I R I J equals one two I equals one N Q I Phi I Display style U underscore Mathem E carrot text total equals FRAC one four Pi var epsilon underscore zero sum underscore J equals one carrot N Q underscore J sum underscore I equals one carrot J one FRAC Q underscore I R underscore I J equals FRAC one two Sum underscore I equals one carrot N Q underscore I phi underscore I where the following sum from J Topic one to N excludes I J Phi I equals one four Pi Epsilon zero J equals one J does not equal I N Q J R I J display style phi underscore i equals frac one four pi var epsilon underscore zero sum underscore j equals one j n e q i caret n frac q underscore j r underscore i j. This electric potential phi i displaystyle phi underscore i is what would be measured at r i displaystyle vec r underscore i if the charge q i displaystyle q underscore i were missing this formula obviously excludes the infinite energy that would be required to assemble each point charge from a disperse cloud of charge. The sum over charges can be converted into an integral over charge density using the prescription ρ d 3 r Display style sum c d o t s right arrow int c d o t s row mathrm d caret three r u e total equals one two row r phi r D three R equals Epsilon zero two E two D three R 
Display style u underscore mathrm e caret text total equals frac one two int row vec r phi vec r operator name d caret three r equals frac var epsilon underscore zero two int left math bf e right caret two operator name d caret three r this second expression for electrostatic energy uses the fact that the electric field is the negative gradient of the electric potential, as well as vector calculus identities in a way that resembles integration by parts. These two integrals for electric field energy seem to indicate two mutually exclusive formulas for electrostatic energy density, namely, 1 2 rho phi display style frac 1 2 rho phi n epsilon 0 2 e 2 Display style frac var epsilon underscore zero two e caret two. They yield equal values for the total electrostatic energy only if both are integrated over all space. Topic: Electrostatic pressure. On a conductor, a surface charge will experience a force in the presence of an electric field. This force is the average of the discontinuous electric field at the surface charge. This average in terms of the field just outside the surface amounts to P equals epsilon 0 2 E two display style p equals frac var epsilon underscore zero two e caret two. This pressure tends to draw the conductor into the field, regardless of the sign of the surface charge. Topic: Triboelectric series. The triboelectric effect is a type of contact electrification in which certain materials become electrically charged when they are brought into contact with a different material and then separated. One of the materials acquires a positive charge, and the other acquires an equal negative charge. The polarity and strength of the charges produced differ according to the materials, surface roughness, temperature, strain, and other properties. Amber, for example, can acquire an electric charge by friction with a material like wool. This property, first recorded by Thales of Miletus, was the first electrical phenomenon investigated by humans. Other examples of materials that can acquire a significant charge when rubbed together include glass rubbed with silk, and hard rubber rubbed with fur. Electrostatic generators The presence of surface charge imbalance means that the objects will exhibit attractive or repulsive forces. This surface charge imbalance, which yields static electricity, can be generated by touching two differing surfaces together and then separating them due to the phenomena of contact electrification and the triboelectric effect. Rubbing two nonconductive objects generates a great amount of static electricity. This is not just the result of friction, two nonconductive surfaces can become charged by just being placed one on top of the other. 
Since most surfaces have a rough texture, it takes longer to achieve charging through contact than through rubbing. Rubbing objects together increases amount of adhesive contact between the two surfaces. Usually insulators, e.g., substances that do not conduct electricity, are good at both generating, and holding, a surface charge. Some examples of these substances are rubber, plastic, glass, and pith. Conductive objects only rarely generate charge imbalance except, for example, when a metal surface is impacted by solid or liquid nonconductors. The charge that is transferred during contact electrification is stored on the surface of each object. Static electric generators, devices which produce very high voltage at very low current and used for classroom physics demonstrations, rely on this effect. Note that the presence of electric current does not detract from the electrostatic forces nor from the sparking, from the corona discharge, or other phenomena. Both phenomena can exist simultaneously in the same system. See also, friction machines, Wimshurst machines, and Van de Graaff generators. <laughs> Charge neutralization Natural electrostatic phenomena are most familiar as an occasional annoyance in seasons of low humidity, but can be destructive and harmful in some situations e.g. electronics manufacturing. When working in direct contact with integrated circuit electronics especially delicate MOSFETs, or in the presence of flammable gas, care must be taken to avoid accumulating and suddenly discharging a static charge see electrostatic discharge. <laughs> electrostatic induction Electrostatic induction, discovered by British scientist John Canton in 1753 and Swedish professor Johann Carl Wilk in 1762 is a redistribution of charges in an object caused by the electric field of a nearby charge. For example, if a positively charged object is brought near an uncharged metal object, the mobile negatively charged electrons in the metal will be attracted the external charge, and move to the side of the metal facing it, creating a negative charge on the surface. When the electrons move out of an area they leave a positive charge due to the metal atom's nuclei, so the side of the metal object facing away from the charge acquires a positive charge. These induced charges disappear when the external charge is removed. Induction is also responsible for the attraction of light objects, such as balloons, paper scraps and styrofoam packing peanuts to static charges. The surface charges induced in conductive objects exactly cancel external electric fields inside the conductor, so there is no electric field inside a metal object. This is the basis for the electric field shielding action of a Faraday cage. Since the electric field is the gradient of the voltage, electrostatic induction is also responsible for making the electric potential voltage constant throughout a conductive object. Topic: <laughs> Static electricity. Before the year 1832, when Michael Faraday published the results of his experiment on the identity of electricities, physicists thought, "...static electricity," was somehow different from other electrical charges. 
Michael Faraday proved that the electricity induced from the magnet, voltaic electricity produced by a battery, and static electricity are all the same. Static electricity is usually caused when certain materials are rubbed against each other, like wool on plastic or the soles of shoes on carpet. The process causes electrons to be pulled from the surface of one material and relocated on the surface of the other material. A static shock occurs when the surface of the second material, negatively charged with electrons, touches a positively charged conductor, or vice versa. Static electricity is commonly used in xerography, air filters, and some automotive paints. Static electricity is a buildup of electric charges on two objects that have become separated from each other. Small electrical components can easily be damaged by static electricity. Component manufacturers use a number of anti-static devices to avoid this. Topic: <laughs> Static electricity and chemical industry. When different materials are brought together and then separated, an accumulation of electric charge can occur which leaves one material positively charged while the other becomes negatively charged. The mild shock that you receive when touching a grounded object after walking on carpet is an example of excess electrical charge accumulating in your body from frictional charging between your shoes and the carpet. The resulting charge buildup upon your body can generate a strong electrical discharge. Although experimenting with static electricity may be fun, similar sparks create severe hazards in those industries dealing with flammable substances, where a small electrical spark may ignite explosive mixtures with devastating consequences. A similar charging mechanism can occur within low conductivity fluids flowing through pipelines a process called flow electrification. Fluids which have low electrical conductivity below 50 picosiemens per meter, are called accumulators. Fluids having conductivities above 50 picosiemens per meter are called non-accumulators. In non-accumulators, charges recombine as fast as they are separated and hence electrostatic charge generation is not significant. In the petrochemical industry, 50 pico siemens per meter is the recommended minimum value of electrical conductivity for adequate removal of charge from a fluid. An important concept for insulating fluids is the static relaxation time. This is similar to the time constant tau within an RC circuit. For insulating materials, it is the ratio of the static dielectric constant divided by the electrical conductivity of the material. For hydrocarbon fluids, this is sometimes approximated by dividing the number 18 by the electrical conductivity of the fluid. Thus a fluid that has an electrical conductivity of 1 pico siemens per centimeter 100 pico siemens per meter will have an estimated relaxation time of about 18 seconds. The excess charge within a fluid will be almost completely dissipated after 4 to 5 times the relaxation time, or 90 seconds for the fluid in the above example. Charge generation increases at higher fluid velocities and larger pipe diameters, becoming quite significant in pipes 8 inches or larger. Static charge generation in these systems is best controlled by limiting fluid velocity. 
The British Standard BSPD CLC TR 50404 to 2003, formerly BS 5958 Part 2, Code of Practice for Control of Undesirable Static Electricity, prescribes velocity limits. Because of its large impact on dielectric constant, the recommended velocity for hydrocarbon fluids containing water should be limited to 1 m per second. Bonding and earthing are the usual ways by which charge buildup can be prevented. For fluids with electrical conductivity below 10 pico siemens per meter, bonding and earthing are not adequate for charge dissipation, and anti-static additives may be required. Topic: Applicable standards. 1. BSPD CLC, TR 50404-2003 Code of Practice for Control of Undesirable Static Electricity 2. NFPA 77 2007 Recommended Practice on Static Electricity 3. APIRP 2003 Protection against ignitions arising out of static, lightning, and stray currents. Electrostatic induction in commercial applications Electrostatic induction was used in the past to build high-voltage generators known as influence machines. The main component that emerged in these times is the capacitor. Electrostatic induction is also used for electro-mechanic precipitation or projection. In such technologies, charged particles of small sizes are collected or deposited intentionally on surfaces. Applications range from electrostatic precipitator to spray painting or inkjet printing. Recently a new wireless power transfer technology has been based on electrostatic induction between oscillating distant dipoles. See also Electromagnetism Permittivity and relative permittivity Ionic bond Electronegativity Electrostatic discharge Electrostatic separator Electrostatic voltmeter Quantization of charge <laughs>